Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my next update for my HP Project Pan. This is a lovely Project Pan collab that was created by my good friend here on YouTube, Christina Chang. I will have her original video along with a list of everyone else doing this project listed in the description box down below. I've made a lot of progress and I finished like another big goal, like not product, but I finished another big goal for here. So I'm really excited and I just really just want to jump right in. So let's jump right in. So as much as I want to jump into the, the big one, we'll say that one for last, um, I have to go ahead and admit that I was not as... Uh, focused on my other palette. So this is my collab palette. I think the only thing I did, I honestly cannot remember if I already had this done in the last update. I just repressed the white shade and I've just been using that to set my eye primer. Though I do think I am on a good route to completely finish that shade up by the end of this project. I have to keep reminding myself that I do have until December <laughs> to do this. Um, and I am, my goal for this next upcoming month is really to focus on this palette because as you'll see, I hit my original goal for the other palette, so that's very exciting. I'm very happy to have that. That being said, I still have not picked. I, my goal for this month was to pick two shades to focus on in this palette, and personally, I, I either want to do these two green shades or the green matte and the shimmer shade up here because those are just like the shades I'm more reaching towards. And personally, for this project being Harry Potter themed, they're just the very Slytherin colors, which of course, Slytherin today and always. But I think. Yeah, I'm torn between these three, which one I want to focus on trying to hit pan on next. Most likely the shimmers. I really do like playing with the shimmers, but this is also, this is also like a really good olive green. So somewhere there. Um, I neglected this palette a bit this month, but it is going to be the focus for next month since I did hit my goal in the other palette. Speaking of neglecting shadows, I also, I only used both of these, my two loose shadows from Geek Chic Cosmetics, a couple of times. So I didn't bring out my notebook to show you because I used this one, the uh, Cowboy Bebop shade called CU Space Cowboy, a grand total of two times since the last update. And then this one, which is Evil Lurks, a grand total of three times. I think I took this one to really focus on my Natasha Denona palette and you'll see that progress. So I really didn't focus as much on these, but again, I have until December and I think now I'm at at right on 15 or 16 uses each for these and my goal is just to hit 40 uses by the end of the project so quite honestly I think I'm gonna be fine I'm probably still gonna hit that early if anything probably in like October so I'm really not worried about these two um but yeah I still I still like the shadows I still enjoy them I just haven't been of reaching for them specifically as often because it is nice to have a palette where kind of you have everything you need all in one place which is this. You know what, let's skip the highlighter and just go straight to this. So I have huge progress in the Natasha Denona palette. I have officially hit pan in each of the four shades I wanted to for this project. Every single one. So here is my palette and as you can see, look at all this lovely, lovely pan. We've got pan in one, two, three, four shades. So I mentioned, I think in my last update, I thought it was going to be hard to hit pan in these two shimmer shades because they were really like um, strongly packed into the pan and I wasn't quite sure how best to use them. I've been doing this look particularly, which is just basically these two in my transition and then like deeping it up with um, this dark loose shadow. And I've just been doing that like a lot. And this is actually one of the only looks that I've gotten compliments from my family on. Like I wear this and they're like, ooh, that eyeshadow looks good. Like that looks nice, do that. <laughs> do that a lot. Um, so I filmed it. I filmed that look. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. I'll just do a quick little montage of how I got this look today.
So that's how I got this look, and this is kind of my go-to look, and that's how I was able to hit pan in both of these shades. If you follow me on Instagram, I did do sneak peeks. I'm sorry if you can hear knocking. We're getting work done on the house today. I'm trying my best to do it in between work. But if you follow me on Instagram, I did do sneak peeks of this palette and my looks and everything, so make sure you follow me there if you want to get some sneak peeks ahead of these actual formal kind of uh, updates every month. But I'm so happy. I got. I have so much pan. I'd, I've never had this much pan in a Natasha Denona palette before, ever. And it just feels really good. And I really like this palette. And I've been using it a lot. I really like it. So, as you can see, I did put stickies. I did pick, because I said once I um, hit these four, I wasn't going to switch this palette out. I still want to get a lot of use out of it. So I'm just going to switch what shades I'm going to be focusing on. They're not going to be 100% a priority, because I next want to move on to this palette to focus, because I want to hit pan in these two shades that I picked before I really focus on this again. But the four, the three shades that I've picked, because I've only picked three so far, are this one, this little sticky right there, the silver shimmer, and then this bronze shade. And I just put a little piece of tape with a little arrow pointing so that I can remind myself, you know, what I'm focusing on. I picked these three shades as I was getting ready this morning just as ones that I'm really interested in and I want to work more with. I'm not going to force myself to pick a fourth one, um, because I really don't think I need to at this point. This this really got me to reach for this palette more often and use it and work with it and consider it. So I think my goal for this is really hit. If any, anything past this, is just like extra credit. <laughs> so again, I'm not really going to be 100% focusing on those new shades until after I get pan in my other palette. But I'm really happy with this progress, guys. Look. Oh, man. I have to say, I really like this palette. I don't think it was worth the money, but I like this palette and I'm getting my money's worth out of it. Last but certainly not least, we have the highlighter that I'm panning, and this is the Becca Royal Glow Highlighter. Here is where I am at now. We've almost completely gotten rid of the um, crown imprint, and I've moved a little bit of this line here. I do think it is getting thin, the product itself, like right here, so I think I'm going to be able to expand this pan a lot more fairly soon. So I've been using this highlighter every day. I'm wearing it today, of course. I, I just really love this highlight. Um, I do have to use it with a much lighter hand and blend it out because I'm a lot paler than I was when I first fell in love with this highlight. But it can still work and I still really love it. So definitely enjoying this. And I honestly, like at first I was like, I don't think I could finish this by December. I think I can. Like looking at it, there's a big slope right here. I think I could finish this. Knock on wood, but I think I can. So there we have it. That was my kind of quick update along with my kind of go-to recent look for my HP Project Pan 2020. Make sure you check out everyone else and their updates. I'll have everyone linked down below in the description box. And if you are doing this project, make sure you comment down below and let me know how you're doing. I gotta, this is so, it's going everywhere. What is this doing? Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.